getting tattooed in Chinese and Japanese characters. Uh, very popular here in the West, but you don't have to look too far around the internet to find cases of silly tourists getting inked with the wrong things. From this person's husband, who thought he got the words God's love and instead got madman, to Ariana Grande, who wanted the words seven rings like her song, but instead, small barbecue grill. Let's take a look at some more. Girl at a festival had got a tattoo down the side of her ribs while travelling in Thailand, a Chinese tattoo in Thailand. She brought it up and showed people, said it meant live for adventure or some typical lofty bollocks. It said picnic table. Friend of a friend wanted a tattoo that said badass. It translated to evil butt. Thought they were getting free spirit, but actually meant dead person at no charge. I saw this guy with Japanese characters that translated to Lettuce! Was in line at Burger King with a co-worker from China. Young woman ahead of us had some Chinese tattooed on her lower back. Friend translated, use other entrance. Late to party, saw a Canadian guy and asked him what he'd asked the tattoo artist. I asked him for some bad words, something really bad. It said, economic recession. I had a student that transferred from Japan in high school who I was good friends with. A kid came in with a phrase in English that said, come to me if you wish to free your mind. Then supposedly the same phrase in Japanese. She noticed and whispered the phrase to me, which was, hot bananas are peace. Little potato, he thought it said respect. My crazy ex-stepsister-in-law had a tattoo that was supposed to say ox. Then tried to show it off in China and everyone laughed at her because it acutely said public cow. My friend got translator server error tattooed on his arm. Needless to say, he wasn't very happy after I told him. On a grad trip to Mexico, a girl in my grad class got peace in Chinese above her coochie. Turns out it actually says fish. What have you decided to get tattooed here? Well, apparently this translates to bitter idiot. Rice. Gold. Pig upside down. A watery waste. Cheap shit. Thing. Gratis. Sperm. Free rides on turgid model mold. I had a boyfriend in high school with a friend who fucked up. He wanted love and hate on his neck, but got love and strawberries on his neck instead. Sadly, he was deathly allergic to strawberries as well. I saw a McDonald's employee that had Big Bush tattooed on her. Instead of the kanji for love, they had this, which meant their Japanese tattoo read, live, laugh, carp. Not me, but my ex was from China and told me someone's once said intentional DVD rental. I had a friend who wanted, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade down his spine. And when he showed it to a girl who spoke that language, it loosely translated to, I have uh, the, the, the lemon sickness. I was out in public when I saw this guy's arm with Chinese writing that translated to ham nugget. Just pear high on his neck. Pelvis strength. He thought it was luck on his chest. It was actually move. My dad, not Japanese, but fluent from working there, once saw this buff marine guy with a Japanese tattoo. He asked the marine what he thought it meant. Oh, it's awesome. I asked the guy in Japan to write courage. Oh, <laughs> nice talking to you, bye. The tattoo said college. Below is my sister's new tattoo. It's supposed to be both of her daughter's initials. But what are we really looking at? What these characters actually mean? Dog place. I came across your site. This is the superb Hansi Smatter blog, by the way. The link's in the description. And my girlfriend would like to know what her tattoo exactly means. Well, it translates to husband head void, AKA I married a moron. What she thought it meant, beautiful. What it actually means, disaster. Thought it meant, Peace actually means vase. What they wanted, marijuana. What they got, vegetables. This person wanted fast and furious. They got fast and foolish. What they thought they were getting was their initials. What they ended up with, just absolute gibberish. Wanted loyalty. Got noodles. They were after outlaw. Instead, they got tattooed with the word snitch. This handsy tat was supposed to mean faith, passion, discipline. Instead, it means liver, Historical rash. Your tattoo there, mate, literally translates to chronic hepatitis. Wow, what a great blog. It's got me wondering about the three random letters, or what I thought we are just letters, put on my shoulder. I do remember a Chinese person laughing at it in a nightclub once. Flow, circulate, drift. Woman, girl, air, gas. What you have there on your shoulder is a tattoo of the word queef. I met a grocery store cashier who had a tattoo going from his inner bicep to wrist that I eventually realised was supposed to say a fuck you, but instead it said clothes! 
One. I saw someone with the characters for Big and Father and figured it was like an approximation of Big Daddy. The guy got really agitated with me and told me it was Chinese for eternal wealth. Tiny chicken my friend got that thinking it said his name. Wait, Xiao GG? Oh no, oh no! It means small penis, lemon water pork dumplings along the spine. A girl got a kanji for purity or something of the like. It was actually a tampon company logo. He thought it said, love my grandson. It translated to something like, I love fat boys. Storm drain on a guy who wanted the way of water like Bruce Lee always talked about. This guy I saw had circumcised squirrel on his arm in Chinese. There was a person who shaved their head in order to tattoo foot on their head. My buddy has a literate foreigner in traditional Chinese characters. Hello mate, well what does my uh, tattoo mean? Well I don't really want to tell you what it means. No come on mate, you, you got to tell me what this means. What did you ask for when you went in? I just picked out some, some random symbols mate. Well what does it mean? You got toilet goblin.